Hi there, I'm the Gnarly Gnome. And this, we call this Drinking with the Gnome. This is a podcast. It's a podcast about drinking. Uh, hopefully you can figure that out by the title and the fact that you are pulling it up on a podcast player. Uh, if not, I, I don't know what to tell you, but that's, that's what it is. I'm the Gnarly Gnome. We drink together. Uh, sometimes we explore the drinks themselves. Sometimes we explore the places, the people, all that stuff. It's about drinking and drinking culture. And the entire month, uh, last month, depending on, I guess, when you're listening to this, we explored winter drinking. We did a series of live shows down at the Cincinnati Chris Kindle Market uh, at the Moorline Lager House, and we just tackled different aspects of winter drinking. And uh, to wrap it up, we had an unseasonably warm day, so we grabbed a picnic table out at the beer garden, uh, we grabbed an open flame and a hot poker, and we sat around a table and we hot poked some beers. This is something that I like to do in the wintertime, uh, in the spring, in the fall, anytime that's uh, it's a little chilly, um, but still warm enough that you can sit around outside and drink. And that's exactly what we did. I was joined by some friends in the local podcast community, Joe and Caroline from Craft Parenting Podcast, and then Julia from Truth Beer Podsequences. You've heard her on a couple other episodes. And we just sat around and we drank beer and, and shoved a hot poker in it. It's, uh, it's way more fun than it sounds when I say it that way. Just listen to the episode and uh, and listen to uh, their shows too. We'll we'll talk about it at the end, but uh, let's just jump into it and we'll, we'll you'll see. You'll understand what this is all about in a second. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Drinking with the gnome. Welcome to the show. This is a fun one. Um, it's the final uh, installment of Winter Drinking. Uh, one of my favorite... Uh, methods? Methods, uh, traditions, something of winter drinking is the beer poker. Safety hazard? Which is what this is. <laughs> so there is a uh, 17% shot that we will either burn down the Chris Kindle market, <laughs> uh, <laughs> get kicked out, or get some kind of a ticket. But they've got flames and like their heaters and stuff. Yeah, I don't think yeah. they won't notice. We'll think this, this is another be heater. This much smaller than any of the other flames here, so it's got to be a I lot mean, safer, right? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't uh, turned it on yet. So that's that's how we're gonna. That's that's what the show is about. Is it's about the beer poker, which if you don't know, you take a hot poker and you shove it inside of a beer. And um, it does wondrous things to that beer. Um, wherever you are watching your show, feel free to jump on the chat and hang out with us and chat that way. Um, Josh says, hi, everyone. Um, hi, Josh. Hi, Josh. Hi, Josh. Um, <laughs> let's, um, let's dig into this. So we're going to poke yeah. a couple different things. And then we're also, we might even poke some other things. We'll, we'll pretend to poke beers that are not actually made here. We're going to pretend because... Laws. <laughs> Reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we, we're going to try not to get kicked out or get a ticket. All right, we're going to make some fire. If, if we can do it. There we go. There's yeah. some fire. Nice. Oh, that is intense. All right. Oh, snap. <laughs> All right. My Girl Scout heart is happy now. Try to balance this on here so that we can just let it heat up. Um, I like how we're all just going. <laughs> don't breathe too hard. Uh, that's the thing. I, I'm not going to poke all of your beers for you, mm -hmm. especially Joe. I cannot reach. I didn't introduce everybody. We'll do that in a second. Um, I can't reach your beer, so you're going to have to poke it yourself. Um, and the important thing, a couple important things. Uh, don't set the poker down on the table mm -hmm. because we don't want to burn the table. We'll get in trouble. <laughs> um, the other thing. Uh, is don't, if you have a plastic cup, do not touch the poker to the outside of the plastic cup. It will melt the cup and uh, chaos will ensue. Uh, not good chaos. And when you put it into the beer, it does release all the carbonation, so it will foam yeah, up. Yeah, it's going to so foam just, up. It shouldn't go over the cup for as much as what you have, Joe, but just be aware okay. that that's going to happen. Yeah. yeah I mean, it's I'll, not, I'll yeah. do it first, and you guys will see kind of how it goes. But <laughs> Josh says this is going to end great, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what hey, we were thinking. I am <laughs> certified in fire safety 101 and 102 <laughs> I'm, I'm less as worried. of high school, so we're fine. I'm less worried about the actual fire as I am the uh, the cups melting and beer just going everywhere. everywhere. This side of the table, there's not a lot that can really get damaged. Yeah, we can, we can go quick enough to get the things that are important off. This yes. side of the table, man, if, if we spill a beer, it's going to be bad. Yes. And um, the table is angled. Slightly. Just it, the wrong way. It is way. the wrong way, too. Yes. You would think it would slope towards the river. It does not. Mm -mm. <laughs> <Yes>. Magic. <laughs> uh, uh, Josh Amazing. says I can't hear Julie's. Oh, no. I can hear me, but I guess volume's a little low. Uh, Maybe that's a good thing. That is, I don't know why. It's fine. Because we can hear it just fine. I'm going to guess it's because I probably, 
It's because we needed a switch. Yeah, maybe it doesn't like the switch halfway through. Uh, I don't know. Um, Do you want to trade? No. Okay. There's no. We can. We I talk can, enough as is. We can go back and forth. Move this one kind of in between you guys. Here, Wait. be very yeah. careful. Yeah, watch the fire. <laughs> This is insane. <laughs> <laughs> but think about how much more difficult it will be inside can of it. Can I take it off the stand? Uh, yes, you can do that. Testing. Think about how much worse this would be inside of a gnome dome, though. You know, I, I don't know. That we, is very true. We wouldn't have the, the um, wind blowing the flame all over the place. That's true, but, but we'd be trying to do this on one of those tiny little tables, too. Those are awful. That would, yeah, that part would not work very well. All right, so but. let's, let's while this is heating up, um, let's talk about the beer poker, the beer stat, uh, beer, beer stall. Can we introduce beer I don't know Joey Caroline? Or, I'm sorry. Caroline! Yeah, let's, <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's all, let's run around the table. Let's start with you, Julia, because uh, I didn't officially introduce you either. Let's let's start with you and go this way. And everybody they, they introduce. Know who, they knew who I am. They're not tired necessarily. Of it's, there's new people. Although right now, from what I can it's tell, just it's only Josh. Josh is just I like, know, no. I can see there are more people, but I don't know who they are. Who they are. I am Julia. I am one half of Truth, Beer, and Pod Sequences. It is a podcast about recapping all of these Cincinnati Craft Beer podcast week after week. And I also love drinking Cincinnati Craft Beer and crashing the gnomes if there's live streams. A, if there's a podcast where a craft beer podcaster talks about Glühwein, does that count as a craft beer podcast? Because it shouldn't. Mm. Well, I mean, we do cover drinking with the gnome, which is not all about It's definitely not all about craft beer. beer. No, I no. try not to talk about but beer as much as possible. But it's about Cincinnati Craft, and I feel like that crosses enough into the realm that we're trying to talk about um, to where it, it I'm not going to argue it with you. You're allowed to talk about it. I just, I think it's, <laughs> yes. I just, uh, 90% of the podcasts we recap are Cincinnati Craft Beer Podcasts, but we do listen to and talk about other Cincinnati-based podcasts that talk about other uh, mostly Cincinnati craft stuff, such as the glue vine that you have here at Chris Kendall Market. So that's me. We cranked up the heat. <laughs> Things just got intense. It looks like I'm sitting here roasting a marshmallow. <laughs> I almost brought stuff for s'mores, and I thought that that's too much. <laughs> would have been good. That would have been great. I'm Joe, and I am one half of the Craft Parenting Podcast, the podcast about two Cincinnati craft beer lovers with a parenting problem. We talk about craft beer and parenting and our, our crazy lives as parents. And you are the Michael Jackson of German dancing. I can't, I can't yes. do it the way Marco does. I can't do it the way Marco does it either. No one can. It's, it's one of a kind the way Marco does it. Yep. But we are, if you can see on the video, we are wearing our German garb. Mm. At least the hat part of the German garb. I, I struggle when I do shows like this because I really want to wear uh, at least my hat. But it doesn't really work good with headphones, like with the good headphones. So I never bring it, and, and now, right now, oh, I'm feeling yeah. self-conscious about the fact but, that I'm uh, on I did want to show you that you are well. Both Truth Beer Pod and uh, Cincy Brewcast is on. Oh, my fantastic! Oh, that's awesome. Cincy Brewcast is on mine. I don't think I don't yes. think it's on yours. Oh that's yeah, awesome. we only got the one. So yeah, I got it's it on, on yours. Mine. Well, stay tuned next year for a <laughs> uh, a fun little gnome development in the pin uh, world uh, sneak peek. Once this get, gets heated up, I promise it. It's not as doesn't take as long for each one. Uh, so the beer poker, the beer, the beer. Have you guys heard about this before? Yes. Everybody, I think, yeah. Um, so uh, it has goes by many different names. I just like calling it a beer poker because I like the idea of poking things. I think it's fun. Um, it. Uh, Josh says a metal marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, uh, the idea where it started is under debate. Um, depending on who you listen to, it could be many different things. Um, I've heard that it started with blacksmiths or something, that they would be in the wintertime and their beer was too cold to drink, so they would just take some kind of piece of metal that they were working on and shove it in their beer. I don't know if that's real. It doesn't make sense to me. I think you could just kind of suffer through it. Um, but I, I have heard that... Uh, it, kind of at, at some point people started making other drinks and heating them up with a metal poker which i think is probably the the more important part uh there was a thing called a flip which is a cocktail that involves heating up like egg and sugar and all kinds of stuff like some kind of little almost like a punch um and then you shove a metal poker and, and, and it warms it up and you know, makes it creamy and delicious um, i think that's where this really kind of started to pick up a lot as far as um, with beer, uh, so Bach beer is by far the best beer to do this with, which we do have a Bach here, which is probably warming up sitting next to the fire. Um, 
And I, I, I think that you want to see. No, no. I can't hear you because you don't have the microphone. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. He just didn't. He wanted it farther away. Um. Yeah. In fact, can we move this one too, just to kind of. Just don't forget that that's the one. The other. That's a different one. The first one we're gonna poke um, is uh, a Baltic Porter. I think it's just called Christian Morline Baltic Porter. I don't think it gets a fancy name. We're right kind of at that point where it's almost there. I want a little more glowing to the the beer poker. Um, what it does is when you shove it in your beer, it caramelizes sugars. That's the and it warms up your beer a little bit, but um, it, it, it caramelizes sugar. So. In the beer, I don't get a whole lot of flavor difference. Um, the biggest difference I get is in the head of the beer because when you shove it in there, it also makes some of that carbonation come out of the beer, so it starts foaming up a lot. And in the process, all of that foam starts to caramelize. So in the perfect beer to me, uh, it starts to taste like uh, a slightly warmer beer with a head of uh, s'mores. That's the way I always put it. I'm down for that. It is delicious. All right, we're close here. I will say I am super excited for this. (laughs) All right, I'm going to call this one good. You talk about poking beers a lot. I'll explain the process in just a second here. There's some nice swirl action going on. All right. Roast it like you're roasting a marshmallow. I'm going to make you poke your own. Okay. Uh, It's kind (laughs) of heavy here. You got it? I got it. All right. Um... So, and I'm going to drink it before it goes away. Here. Cools down, yeah. The, uh, the trick when you're poking, which I'll... Here, let me drink this real quick. <laughs> <laughs> At least we now have the visual medium so we can tell what he's doing versus just the audio medium that is usually podcasting. <sighs> oh, yeah, it's good. Well, that's fun. The head is, is warm. It's fluffy. Uh, a little bit marshmallowy. I should have hit the, the head a little bit longer than I did, but um, it's good. That's part of the fun is trying to get that timing perfect. The technique. The technique is to first get it all the way down in there, and with a mm-hmm. with a porcelain mug, you've got a little bit of an advantage. You can actually get it in there, and if you touch the sides, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, get it in there; it'll start foaming up. As soon as it starts foaming up, that's when you kind of start pulling up into the head of the beer and get that swirl going around like this. Okay. Kind of like you're churning butter or something. Um, I've never actually turned butter. I don't know the motion to turn butter, but I imagine it's something like that. It's more of a, I'm not going to make the motion. <laughs> not going not, not to do that here, no. This, this gets even more fun, too, when you're sitting around an actual fire, not a little camp stove. Um, the I mean, fire pit was actually kind of crowded tonight, so yeah. we couldn't squeeze into it, and uh, the table makes things easier. But um, it is... Uh, that one's getting close, Carolyn. Again, when I, when, I, when I talk about my favorite kind of uh, traditions or, like, uh, things that you do around uh, winter drinking, I think that that's kind of part of it too. Is that you're sitting around a warm fire, you're hanging out, kind of kind of like you're roasting marshmallows. <laughs> okay. That's getting close. Let me pull it out for a second. Let's see where it's at. Oh yeah, oh, you're that's good. good. Give it, one more one, hit. That one more hit. Good. And then go straight to the beer. All right. See how she does. Like you're churning butter. There you go. Now get it up into the head and get it back down in. I I think I read good somewhere technique. that like. Like six seconds or so is probably about what you want it to be before it really starts to warm it up too much. Nice. There you go. Pass okay. it on to Joe. Uh, Careful. I don't need to tell anybody not to touch the end of the stick because it's hot, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure we all know that. But now I'm starting to think know. of all these legal, legal liabilities and shit. Yes, yes. <laughs> Maybe your lawyer. <laughs> Maybe your lawyer wants you to say that. All right, Caroline. Oh, it's nice and toasty. It's fun, like because the it top is. of it, the top of it gets really warm. But then when you get a like when you get a good swig, then the underneath is still like it's a still cold cool, beer. Yeah. Like it's fun to mix. Oh, it is very much a temperature difference. It's a, yeah, it's like a journey. Yeah. <laughs> do you get? That's do, awesome. Do you get marshmallows? I do get yeah. marshmallows, it's and so I good. love this now. And we need to do this, but not around <laughs> small children. <laughs> This would not be good around small children. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I don't. So we we camp a lot in my family. Um, I don't know when that starts the obsession with fire, but it is really early. You put them next oh, to a fire sure. with some kind of a stick, and they're they're poking they're and right swinging in there, yeah, and yeah. tossing, and yeah, it's um. Yeah. Our uh, my Caroline's mom and dad they have a gas fire, and um, they had it on at Christmas, and the little one was was all about that. Trying to get very yeah. involved. Trying, trying yeah. to get very involved oh, yeah. with the fire. I'm like, eh. <laughs> At a certain point, I think that uh, this will become a fun family activity. Because you can poke 
anything, and that's where it starts to get really like it. It becomes like a a weird root beer. Yeah, you can. It's like a weird obsession trying to try different things and to find what is good and what is not. Um, Remember uh, your beers over here now. I've I've poked. Yeah, don't poke the one that's like really full there. <laughs> it will and, go. And don't touch the edges. Don't of the touch the. the I'm so nervous right now about the, the cup. <laughs> <laughs> You've got how, this. How adult end. can we adult with this? <laughs> I'm going to do it at the end of the table. I had... I might do the same thing. I, I had, uh, like, like one Yeti mug in my car, and I looked at it, and I said, and it probably has, like, dried coffee in the bottom. I'm like, I should probably bring that. I'm like, no, no, I'm not going to bring it. I don't want to carry more stuff. I should have brought it. I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> I can just buy more glue vine. It's fine. Well, we or could, you could probably just buy the mugs on the own. This is probably the, the, like, the exciting part of the show that, is to see what's going to happen I think that right is now. pretty dang on close. All right. All right. Yeah, you can set yeah, that down. Set that down. Remember, you are attached via your headphones, but you should be okay. You got it's some space. It's pretty long. Oh. All right. This is this is going to get exciting, guys. Don't touch the cup. Don't touch the cup. Don't touch Just the cup. Just don't touch the cup. Touch the cup. Don't touch the cup. So down and Gotta swirly get a little swirl. swirl. Ooh, gentle swirls. He's doing it. He's doing it. All right, it. now get up in the head. There That's we what go. She said. Come oh back God. down in. Oh, he's a pro. No, oh, no kidding. We're not safe yet. We're not safe yet. All right. Oh, yeah. Ooh, All right, pass it awesome. off to Julia. Oh, God. Uh, take the okay, mic and take get in there and, and drink that and tell me how yours did. Uh, we have to move is this. That, oh, we got all kinds of cable issues now. Everything. There is some more. There's also the danger if you if you do touch the cup and it doesn't melt, you've now released some kind of horrible chemical <laughs> into your beer and you could die. <laughs> well, there's that. <laughs> um, I lost audio too. I think it's a splitter. Oh but no. that's okay. Oh no! I can Did we hear unplug you. something? I moved something. I can still hear you guys. Hopefully, you can still hear me. Check right there in front of you. Is everything plugged in there? I mean, I can hear. I we can, can hear, hear but if they can't. Anything? Yeah. Oh, I think Testing. I got it. Yeah, yes. we're better okay. now. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh -oh. you, you talked about the journey. Oh. What Surprise is guest. What is this one here? <laughs> Are we poking this? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't see who's behind me, but they're massaging it's my shoulders. Uh, so. I will. It's a great. I'll give you three guesses. I was going to, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> you're, on, you're on video, too. Yes. <laughs> they're, they're, they're watching us burn down Chris Kindle Market right now. <laughs> so far, so good. I want to see yeah. if this works. It does. It what, absolutely does. What <laughs> What beer did you bring here? Okay, first off, that is first Jim off. Effler's Barbarossa. Okay. And this run here is an original lager. So okay. we have Barbarossa and a lager. Uh, original lager. Original lager. I don't bad. have high hopes for the original lager to be Not as, to many, be not as much sugar in it. It's yeah, there's not as much sugar. Uh, that's a good point. Uh, so both of you guys need to drink these down about a quarter of the way, just so they don't overflow. Yes. Ooh, you're getting close, I Julia. Know. Yeah. Uh, we're uh, glowing. We're getting. We're getting there. You can do it in a plastic like cup, and it'll be just fine. You just have to be very just careful. Don't touch <laughs> the sides yes. or the bottom, and you'll be good. <laughs> We're going to see how Julia Are we does it. Yeah. No, squeeze no, no, it. Come on, have a no, seat. No, we're happy. It's fine. It's have fine. They don't care. They would tell me if they cared. <laughs> the only person that's <laughs> chatting is Josh. <laughs> he's just waiting for one of I us know, to be there. I know, he's waiting for us to be I really enjoyed this. I'm really um, excited to try the Einbecker. And I, I don't know that we have enough for everybody to poke a full Einbecker. Oh, that's fine. I can share with Joe. One of oh, us has some good swirling here. technique coming from Julia. We can make Greg go get us another Einbecker. <laughs> <laughs> I said we can make Greg go get us another Einbecker. Since I just paid eight dollars for one of them, huh? Uh, I, I think that that's going to be the best one. I don't know. That's what I, I think. I'm an expert. I, I've poked way more we beers just, than we just tried the, uh, almost anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is the Baltic Porter. Point you what you got it. Do what? Really I got good. it up here. This is really good. Agreed. I like the... Um, it, I, I feel like the poke beers I've had before, the head, I don't want to say always tastes the same, but it is always it's that always, nice toasted marshmallow yeah. flavor. And it's then always you get the really beer. close. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> That's half the game is just trying to find the, uh, the best kind of other flavors that go along with that. Greg, you have to drink some of this beer, too, before we poke it. 
I don't know if he heard he, me. He's Matt. busy producing. He's texting. <laughs> <laughs> Producer Greg is now up. Uh, Sorry. What does... Uh, all good. <laughs> I, didn't know, I, didn't know, I didn't know if you wanted to it's, be on mic or... <laughs> it's really confusing because I can still hear Julia when she talks, that, no matter yeah. what, through yeah. this microphone, Same. so I can't actually tell when yeah, she's on mic to them. Yeah. You, can, you gotta drink, drink it down to about the O and Dora. Yeah, get it, get it. You gotta drink it down a little bit before. No, no, no. Halfway, like, 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 maybe like a quarter of the way a down. A third to a quarter, yeah, yeah. Or else it'll overflow. Are you ready? That's that's good. Do you want me to poke it for you? Am I? Jim, do you want me to poke it for you? Good, good. All right. Do I? There's, some, there's a joke there. I'm not oh, sure. there, there are jokes. <laughs> there are so many jokes. Come yes. over here and get on mic and tell us the joke. Because <laughs> <laughs> none of us understand. No, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> We're letting everybody that's watching just keep making the joke to themselves yes. at home. Yes. <laughs> They're all yelling at their computers. Just say it. Are you going to do it for Almost. me? Or want me to? I, th- I, sure. <laughs> I will be. This is like. This is a lot more that. like heroin in a yes, plastic cup. Yes, in a plastic cup. cup agreed. Yeah. Yeah. There is agreed. zero room for error. A little bit more. A little bit more. Like yeah. Ooh, that's go. smelling it's, really yummy. Go. It's not as crazy when it's not a plastic get cup. A, get a big sip where you get some of the warm head, and then you also get down warm, nobody, warm head, and then down to the bottom where it's <laughs> cold, what too. She said. <laughs> Where's Marco when you need him? I know. Not, not to derail, but I love this Christmas music. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the best yeah. Christmas Who Let the Dogs Out is my favorite Christmas song of all time. Do it's you know <laughs> how many Touch Tunes jukeboxes I've been banned from at this point by playing this song? <laughs> It's, it's like there's there's some good stories there, which uh, uh, so there's a thing. I, I guess I could say it on here. There's nobody that is. He's busy. He's busy drinking his beer. Here, Caroline, scoot it's over like, a little bit so I don't. Like, I don't want to hand the mic over the flame. It's like yeah, brewing beer and tasting get on it at the same time. Like you get that like. That smell. Get on the microphone. You get that like smell that you're in the brewery, and it's a different smell than than you get when you're drinking it, but you're getting both of them at the same time. Oh, yeah. I, I love it, it. It's incredible, man. It's so much fun. And, like, it... I know this what is, I'm going to ask Santa for next year. <laughs> this, is, this is a good... This is a good beer to do it with. The fun is that sometimes they're not good. <laughs> and so then you're just trying different things. Like, we've poked cocktails, and we've poked wine. There was a we, sour. Yeah, we poked that, sours. That, that, that didn't, did not that work. That didn't work that out did good. That did not work. Um, I thought... But you know, it was it was an urban sour, right? Yeah, I don't yeah it was the which cherry. One. It was one yeah, of the yeah, cherry oh, yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. No, Remember it was a, that? It was it oh, was no, a seltzer. Was, oh, that's right. We did our cherry seltzer. <laughs> yeah. Does not seltzer. Yeah, yeah. don't uh, does not don't work. poke a cherry seltzer. <laughs> <laughs> Body to well, it? No, I wonder. Has, has nothing, no, though. there was nothing. Yeah. There was because it's, nothing. it's uh, you're you're caramelizing sugars that are already in there. I wonder what an aster would do because of how much sugar is in that though. Like I still don't know if flavor wise it would don't know work the same. But I'm curious now. Have I poked an astro? <laughs> I might have poked an Astra. I can't remember. Like Thanksgiving one year, we might have poked an Astra. Okay. Uh, as soon as like it starts getting chilly outside, we just start poking everything, and we don't stop until after Bachfest. And Bachfest is the best. Uh, Oktoberfest beers don't work nearly as, as good well. as October f- as uh, Bachfest Bach beers, I guess. Well, because the Bach beers are meant to sustain you through your fast. Yeah, there's a lot going on in there. It's a uh, it's a it's a weird thing. All right, I'm excited to dive into the. Um, uh, Barbarossa. Are you drinking yes. your yes, beer yes. while you're poking? Here, here. Do you, I was going to say, we can, yeah, we can trade off. I'm going to slam this. Uh, I don't yeah. know. Just, I'm, so I'm just, just because, down because this. we don't uh, have a good way to. And I need that Barbarossa, too. When, uh, when you get... I'm going to hold this over here. Yeah, just don't touch it to yourself. Yeah, I will or not anyone touch else. My, I will not touch Somebody myself else is okay, or others not me. with a hot poker. So if anybody knows... A uh, like a metal worker, somebody that can make a metal stick that you can shove in a fire, but the end of the stick, that little hot uh, marshmallow, looks like a little gnome. Let me know because oh, I cool desperately want to sell beer pokers that have gnomes on the end of them. I would buy that in a second. Here you go, honey. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> Producer Greg to the rescue. All right, I'm gonna try the Barbarossa, which I'm. Like on the fence, how it's gonna be? Yeah, that's probably okay. Okay, let's give a second warm up. Caroline is gonna be the professional like beer poker by the end of this. I didn't mention that I also have my playing with fire license. Ooh. Ooh. So anybody who's ever been in, <laughs> I, I can say Boy Scouts for sure. 
you know, once once a Boy Scout, always a pyro. Uh, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's the same for Girl oh, Scouts. Oh, it's the same for Girl Scouts. <laughs> it, it, it is exactly the same. And I have my same. lifetime membership that doesn't expire until I turn ninety nine. So I am determined to turn ninety nine. Get the to then most say, out hey, of that. Absolutely. You said my membership expired, but it shouldn't. <laughs> I am. I'm That's a, the West Sider in you. <laughs> I'm paying for your buck. I am officially now a. I think I'm. I think I'm a Girl Scout volunteer. I'm, my wife wouldn't let me be a leader. She wanted to be the leader of the troop. I. I, I, I wanted to be, but I wasn't. A, Is she that looking hot me. enough? Um, yeah, that's good. All right. All right. Getting Greg's I'm, first poked beer. Man, this I'm will so be your, This will be the first one that you've had, Greg? This will be your first poked beer. <laughs> I don't know if he can hear you. Yeah, probably. <laughs> he doesn't have headphones. It smells so good. You do. Caroline, you do All such right. a good job of that. Like, that right. looks amazing. All right. Hot yes. The, uh, oh, beer. yeah. That's so a, you gotta you gotta get a good sip where you get the head and and the beer underneath. The the shine beer. We talked about that in one of our episodes because you didn't believe me that some people brewed like that. Is it good? Yeah. It's just it's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so weird. It's good. <laughs> Do what? He wants to know if we patented it. No, no. That's it's been around since like 400 BC or something. I don't think you can. As long as fire and beer have existed. <laughs> as long as fire and beer have existed, people have tried to combine the two, and this is what you get. He wanted to not know, he, uh, for the people that are that are watching that probably maybe didn't hear that because we're not on microphone, uh, he, he wanted to know if we had patented this idea, and I said no because it's been around since, like, Stone Ages or something. I don't know. I really don't know when it came around. Like, you can't find good data to tell you when it started because it happened so long ago because people were just heating shit up with hot stuff. You know who would know? Thor. Thor might Thor know. Thor would know. I don't have any glue on, but I'll get some. We'll get some. Yeah, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we can we will poke the shit out of some glue um, I, I have. I have read... Thank you, Greg. See you, Greg. Bye, Greg. Thanks, Greg. I have read um, in a couple of sources that uh, glue wine or uh, glue vine um, there are some places that do heat it up with like actual metal rods like that to help kind of heat it while it's, while it's uh, um, uh, cooking at the at the, at the Chris Kendall market. So would that be something that, and this is more like talking into the air, not like asking you. We're do not you talking know into this? the air. There's people. Well, well, you know what I mean. I'm not. Although asking, that does I'm then not, go through the air. So I'm not asking this for like an actual answer. Is more of what I was saying. So I wonder if they do that so that if it cools down while they're waiting for people to buy it someone mm-hmm. comes up buys one and they're like let me make sure this is nice and warm for you boom and they, I think and they it poke was, it I think it was much more um, uh, just because that was how you heat stuff up okay they had okay. a fire and they would put hot things or, or metal things into the fire into it yeah and then use that to transfer the heat into liquid I don't I, I think it was like a necessity thing so going I I, so I guess going back to the historian. to the glue vine a little bit it can be heated up and then cooled and then reheated up without necessarily changing. Because if it's made, it changes as a, it. You know what I mean. It's always changing. That's yeah. okay. Like, that's another. We're, we're going <laughs> we're back going to yeah, we're yeah, going yeah, back yeah. to another show, but yeah. I think that's part of what's fun about glue is that it will change. Mm-hmm. Like if you if you heat it up, the longer it sits, the more it's going to kind of meld together. Mm-hmm. The more if it's if it's too hot, the more alcohol that's going to get uh, boiled off. Right. Right. It um, it's always evolving. Cool. All right, I'm almost done with that, my Barbarossa. Barbarossa was okay. Okay. Not as good as the uh, Baltic Porter. As a Baltic Porter, yeah. You needed yours poked, but maybe you already poked yours. No, we poked no. Uh, what Greg no, and you. We, poked we didn't poke your Barbarossa. That's, that's did why we? mine isn't as good because I just drank <laughs> Barbarossa. <laughs> well, well, here, if, if you it's want, do you want? Well, here, no, it's do okay. you want? I'm, I'm really dying to get to this. That one's okay. okay. Well, that's funny. Well, go ahead and pour some in your glass, and we'll I just start. I gotta finish this one first. I'm, okay. I'm just keeping this warm. Yes. Yes. Um, so, yeah, yeah, you and I still so have the, the Barbarossa, um, and Caroline, you have the Barbarossa still all, in yours? I'm all empty. Oh, you're completely empty? I finished empty? Okay. my first beer. Do you... Uh, okay, you're going to share the Barbarossa? Get some, some okay. Yeah, yeah, so go ahead and um, get some of so that. So for anybody that's hearing kind of the background noise, I don't know how much that's coming through. Um, it is karaoke night at Chris Kennel Market. Uh, Jeff Graff says Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all. And then uh, Justin Cheney says hello, other people. Hi, Justin. All right, we're gonna we're gonna pour some Einbecker now, and we're gonna see how that does. So if you so if you wanna Joe, if you or Caroline wanna poke the Barbarossa to get that okay. done, 
And then while she's doing that, if you want to pour There's yourself some of the Bach, go ahead and pour some of the Bach in there. Okay. And then, and then we'll get we'll heat up the poker, give it to Gnome to poke his Bach. We'll heat it up, give it to me to poke the Barbarossa, heat up, give it to you. I don't know. We'll figure we it out. Plan. We have a plan. We have a plan. We have a plan, Sometimes. guys. I think. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> Producer Julia in the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. This is, yeah, this is the Barbarossa, and that is really yummy. Now that I'm not holding a hot thing on fire, I can, <laughs> you can put my headphones back on. I'm toasting the, the metal marshmallow. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, see, now I'm, I'm really stuck on this thing of like a beer poker with a little gnome on the end. I'm going to have to take up some kind of metalworking as a hobby. Someone can make it happen. I'm sure of it. I, I think like? I know some welders. I'll, I'll talk to some people. Yeah, it's got to be food safe, though, too. That's the hard part. Isn't everything food safe if you heat? Well, I guess not. But no, there's no. like it okay. leaches other stuff out of it. Like it. Like asbestos. And again, like who, who cares? But if, I, <laughs> but if I'm selling it on a website, he I, wants to sell. If, yeah, if yeah. I'm selling it, I need to. I, I don't care to like shove any kind of metal in a beer and then drink the beer. I'm, you know, if the dirt and the lime and the dirt and the grime on the line, <laughs> the dirt and the grime on the line. If you're worried, stay. oh shoot, what was that? If, if you're, you're worried about, about the dirt and, and the grime, grime on, on your line, <laughs> just stay home. <laughs> Country boy, we love you. That is a shout out to uh, an episode of Songer Songer Stories. Songer Stories, yeah. Um, did you see they did this most recent episode as a video as well on YouTube? I can't wait. I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. Very excited. Oh, I just said I, I saw that they did it. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. I talked yeah. to, to Danny a bunch about you know the process. Um, he had some technical difficulties trying to get it to come together, so I was like, really excited to see it appear. Don't we all when we start with trying to Man. figure out a video? <laughs> it, I, I wish I could tell you it gets better, but it doesn't. <laughs> video is so tough. It is. It just adds a whole other layer of everything, like a, an audio podcast. Not that they're easy, but like once you figure it out, like it's you just you know check the boxes and you're fine. Mm-hmm. Audio just throws this whole wrench into things, and or video throws a whole wrench into things that I, I don't know what it is. All right, we're almost glowing here, Julia. You need a Barbarossa. I do, poked. but yeah. Um, the uh, well, I don't know if we should leave the live stream up or uh, <laughs> cut the live stream and leave the audio for the froth or how this works. We'll probably do that. All That's right. probably what we're gonna do in just a minute here. Because you guys understand the beer still, poker now at this point, right? I'm still saying it could have been called The Head. Just, yeah, I'm just, not gonna, just saying. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that. that there are other podcasts called The Head. <laughs> it's not. Uh, if anybody doesn't know what I'm talking about, uh, so for for Nomies, for anybody who supports on Patreon, uh, go to thegnarlygnome.com slash support to, uh, to understand more about that. But um, they're uh, starting next year. There is an additional podcast that I'm going to be doing, which just kind of takes all of this extra stuff. We're going to leave the microphones on and we're going to keep drinking and keep uh, poking things. And it <laughs> ends up in a podcast called The Froth, which is all of that extra stuff that kind of uh, foams up after the show. For the most part, we'll still cut stuff out if people say things that they don't want the world to know, which does happen. Sounds awesome to me. Um, we're still toasting here. <laughs> it takes a little bit to toast a good marshmallow. It does, especially a metal one that is... Uh, <laughs> well, and I think the wind blowing the flame to yeah. where it's not the marsh- the metal the metal mel- mallow. Yeah. <laughs> that is not helping, but it was a good Sorry, visual. We'll, just, we'll crank the heat. <laughs> the wind is blowing in the in, in the direction that I think Julia is now getting all the heat, though, too. Oh, it feels she great. Gets a, she gets a nice little... It feels uh, great. I'm, I'm perfectly comfortable. <laughs> it's actually a beautiful night out this here This is tonight. a perfect this night for this. Amazing. It's uh, amazing. It's perfect weather. We're not in a gnome dome, which I'm a little sad about, yeah. but this is working so much better. Yeah, it really is. I was really looking forward to the gnome dome. <laughs> Who knows? If, if there's an empty one when we're done here, maybe we'll just steal one and just hang out in there for a bit after this. Who knows? We, we wouldn't be able to hear the karaoke from the gnome dome. Is, is that really a bad thing? It's really loud right now. It's very loud. Right? I know. I'm like, oh, this is. But at least now it's a Christmas You song. might get flagged on YouTube. Uh, like, that's they, true. They, they were playing Frozen before. Um, so that's true. Oh, yeah. I don't know if this is going to YouTube. I originally, when I started doing the live Drinking with the Gnomes, I was only going to do it on Facebook, uh, but I might have changed it back when I changed Drinking with the Gnome. Yeah, you've just uh, done a couple of clips night. on, on uh, the Drinking with the Gnome YouTube, I believe. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know if any of the full episodes of, uh, from Chris Kindle Market are. 
All right. We're, there, but... we're just about hitting that glowing point here. All right. I mean, you're you're live on YouTube. It says oh, you're live on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, that's why I said. I, I probably changed <laughs> it when I did Weekly Pint and then didn't change it back. It's really hard. <laughs> uh, this song is technically in uh, the public, public domain. domain, domain. Yeah, so, so I think we're good. good. Performance technically isn't, but it won't get flagged. However, whoever is singing this could flag me if they wanted to. Although, I will say, for the other karaoke that we've heard, this performance is great. It's just so yeah. loud. This is, it's just very, very loud. A little it's loud. loud. Through I, the headphones, yeah, even, it's I, like, I, oh. I think it might be... Picking up the... <laughs> I, I actually, I don't know if it's actually as loud as it feels to us, but no, it still Probably feels loud. Probably not. It feels yeah. very no. loud. Uh, the speaker is louder. directly it above just got us. louder. The speaker is right there. <laughs> yeah, but take off your headphones and listen. Like it gets oh, quieter. Oh, yeah, that is weird. <laughs> so I don't know which microphone is picking it up so much. But <laughs> All right, Julia, are you ready? Yes. Here, right, I I'm, will. Uh, uh, you want me to do it? You're holding the poker. I am holding the poker. I have the power. I think it'd be a little right. more tricky for us to like try to pass the poker around. Is this when I just randomly scream to try to trip people up? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> The gnome is giving it a swirl. <laughs> uh, they're very good technique. And it is smoking. Right. Hopefully not melting. Hopefully not melting. <laughs> um, next, we're going to try Einbecker. Who's got Einbecker in their cups? I, I, I have do. a little bit. So there's, you know, some. there's a little bit in here if you need a... Well, what's in that one? Right? Is that still Barbarossa? This is still Barbarossa. We're going to we share. Yeah, yeah, you, we're guys, gonna... you guys need to down that. Although we do have an extra cup here, too. We're splitting a bottle. We're splitting a bottle. Yeah, because we have two bottles. Greg brought us a second bottle. Oh, I get it now. All right, so Julia, you need to chug. <laughs> the slow drinker. Did you want to have any commentary about your... God, it's so loud. Julia is actually <laughs> chugging this beer. I am very proud of you, Julia. Look at that. She's not a slow drinker, guys. Woohoo! She oh says God. she says she's a slow drinker every time. <laughs> Julia is insisting that she's fine. I, for some reason, it's believe that she is not. It's like 4%. It's fine. Tyler and uh, the Chugmas, the Chugmas dude will uh, be very proud of you. All right. I'm going to cut the live stream since we're, we're about at the end of the show. And we're just going to keep recording while we <laughs> keep poking things because the music is now driving me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't it know if it's because of kids, so but I can just tune it out. It is so loud. <laughs> uh, so thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, if you have never tried to poke a beer with something hot, uh, try it. I don't care what you heat up. Just shove it in the beer. and uh, Just be careful when you're doing it. Or not. Like, just take pictures. <laughs> put it on social media for us. Like, it'll be fun. Um, I'm not legally responsible for anything that people do in their own homes. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out. Um, once again, like, run around the table. Everybody tell people where to find your shows and your things. Truth Beer and Pod Sequences at Truth Beer Pod everywhere. All the social medias, YouTube, Patreon.com slash Truth Beer Pod. We are Craft Parenting Podcast on Facebook, YouTube, and everywhere. Instagram. Everywhere. Yeah. Um, and yeah. <laughs> just yelling in the background. Just, just chaos. Always chaos. Huge thank you again to Julia from Truth Beer Pod Sequences and to Joe and Caroline from Craft Parenting Podcast, and to Greg Hardman for uh, inviting us out to the, the logger house down there for their Cincinnati Chris Kindle Market. Uh, we had such a good time on all of these episodes, but especially this one. It was just, uh, it was, the, the weather was so perfect to do something like this. Uh, if you've never tried this, uh, I encourage you to. Uh, look in the show notes. There's a link in there for a actual beer poker that you can order on Amazon. You can get it at home and, um, and do it yourself. It's, it's a fire hazard, sure, but um, all the best things in life are, aren't they? <laughs> That's, that's what I tell my wife when she walks in and I've got an open flame in the basement and I'm shoving hot pokers and beers. But look, try it. It's fun. Get some friends together. Just hot pokes and beers. It's, uh, it's a fun little winter tradition. Uh, make sure you go and listen to everybody's podcasts, everybody that's been on any of these shows or, or anybody that's on any shows in the future. Just go listen to theirs too. Subscribe to all of this stuff. There's a really great drinking culture and a really great podcast culture about drinking that's happening here in Cincinnati. So um, I appreciate everybody for helping me make these happen. If you aren't subscribed to the show, do that wherever you listen to podcasts, Drinking with the Gnome, 
Um, or you probably, there's probably a button right where you're listening to this where you can just click it and it'll subscribe you. Share it with your friends, though. That's the most important thing. That's how this show keeps growing is by word of mouth. It's how, um, it's how every podcast really keeps growing. So share it with somebody. If you really like all of this, you can support it by going to the gnarlygnome.com slash support. Uh, or like I said before, go in the show notes and click on one of those links to, to buy things on Amazon. They're affiliate links and all of that helps. All of these things help me with the show. And uh, I wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. So thank you. Uh, we'll be back next, uh, whenever. I want to say next week because that's my other show is a weekly show. This is not a weekly show. This is just a kind of uh, whenever I get one done show. But <laughs> we'll be back next episode. How about that? Um, and we'll be talking about something drinking related. I have a couple shows that are in, uh, in progress that should be good ones. So stay tuned. Um, cheers, everybody. <laughs> drinking with the gnome. <laughs> <laughs>